When it comes to closing entries, there are many ways to prepare this. What remains the same is the main goal of this step, and that's to close temporary accounts, meaning to bring the revenue or income, cost or expense, drawing and other temporary accounts we use that will not appear in the statement of financial position or balance sheet to zero. What? After all that we've been through, why would we do that? Sino yung pinaglolokon nyo, ha? Um, before you hit me, let me explain that it is necessary. We do this in preparation for the next coming period. Think of it as a reset button but only applicable for temporary accounts. Example, sales revenue for 5 million in year 1 is a separate value from the sales revenue of year 2 or 3 or so on. The amount is tied to a specific period and requires a zero balance at the start of the following period. This allows for financial performance comparison per year and a meaningful analysis rather than accumulating the amounts over time. For this illustration, I prefer to prepare it this way. Close first the revenue accounts or all income statement accounts with credit balances. So to do this, we need to debit each account with the same exact amount as the updated balance, then pair the entry with revenue or income and expense summary account. That's a long account title. So it's a temporary account. Next is to close expense accounts or all income statement accounts with debit balances. So to do this, we need to credit each account with the same exact amount as the updated balance then pair the entry with revenue or income and expense summary account. Then close the net amount of the revenue or income and expense summary account itself against the capital account. Alternatively, as other authors and teachers would prefer, closing it against the drawing account. Better use the account to determine the net amount of the revenue or income and expense summary account. Lastly, close the drawing account against the capital account. A post-closing trial balance is prepared after closing entries are made and posted to the ledger or T account. It is the third trial balance in the accounting cycle. However, it is optional because accounts here is just the exact copy of the accounts listed in the statement of financial position or the balance sheet. Anyway, this is how it would look like. Observe that after closing, we're left with asset, liability, and the updated balance of the capital account only. Financial statements are reports summarizing what had happened over a period of conducting business. Think of it as a report card, only a detailed type of report card. Let us clarify that the correct order of preparing the basic common financial statements are as follows. We start with the income statement or the statement of profits and losses, followed by statement of owner's equity or the owner's capital, then the balance sheet or statement of financial position. For simplicity, we will omit the notes to financial statements, the cash flow, and other more advanced presentation in this illustration. Further details will be discussed in separate videos. So take a closer look at the FS of Forever Young. Again, format may slightly vary. Always start with the proper heading. Mind that we are no longer placing the amounts following the debit and credit side here. It is mere presentation. Some amounts are indented or aligned to enhance the understandability or the look of the FS. FS, by the way, is financial statement. The currency symbol, the total, and the double rule are equally worth noting. Reversing entry is a journal entry made at the beginning of next accounting period that reverses some adjustments. This becomes optional depending on accounting practice followed. In-depth discussion will be in a separate video as this would just lengthen our illustration. Now if we opt to use reversing entry, then the following adjustment will be reversed at the start meaning Prior recording regular transactions of the next accounting period, we will switch the position 
of accounts in our adjusting entries. We will reverse the following. Adjustment for all accruals, whether it's revenue or accrual of expense. Then, pre-collection using the revenue or income method. Then, prepayments using expense method. I repeat, we are reversing the adjusting entry, not initial entry or whatsoever. It, it is just the adjusting entry. Observe the following adjustments and the corresponding reversals. That concludes our complete accounting cycle for merchandising business using perpetual inventory system for sole proprietorship business.